What's up guys, this is Android at Night, and today I'm going to show you my favourite exposed modules for Android. These are kind of similar to flashing a ROM, but it means you can get all the customization that you normally get with something like CyanogenMod, Mod, but you can have this on a completely stock ROM. The other cool thing is that the majority of these should work for most Android phones, so enjoy the video. The first module on this list is called Activity Force New Task. What this does is forces Android to make a new task every time you open something. What this means is if you open up a video in Google Plus and then hit the back button, instead of going back to your home screen, it will go back to Google Plus. Also if you open up multitasking, you'll see there's an extra window for the YouTube app as well as your Google Plus app. Next module is Blacklist. This is pretty simple. This just lets you blacklist numbers. I've blacklisted a couple of the spam numbers that call you up and offer you like PPI and stuff like that. It's just really, really irritating. This is a really easy way to block those. Next up, we've got Boot Manager. This again is a really simple one. This just lets you set which apps will actually boot when you start the phone. Some applications like Skype are forced to boot as soon as you turn your phone on. And this is fine if you're going to be using them, but if you're not, it's a bit of a battery drain and a bit of a memory hog. Next up, we've got DS Battery Saver. This is called Deep Sleep Battery Saver. This is just something else that you can add to your phone to get a little bit more power out of your battery. It gives you a bunch of different battery profiles to flick through and some options to actually save more battery and optimise your battery life. It will also tell you how much longer you have left. Next we've got double tap to sleep. What this does is actually double tap on your status bar to send the device to sleep. Next one is Xthema KitKat. This is one of the modules that has loads of stuff crammed in and I'm not really going to be able to do it justice in one video but as you can see you've got options to customise your status bar which includes clock colour, clock position, things like that and how your um, monitors look. You've got navigation bar mods, you've got framework mods, you can do things to your power menu for example you can have the reboot options, screen shoot options, screen record options. Next up we've got Force Fast Scroll. What this does is every app in Android that you have to scroll in a list this will make it so you get one of those nice little handles to actually drag through a list. A couple of apps don't have them still and this just makes it a little bit easier to actually navigate them. Next up we've got Greenify. This is one I've talked about quite a few times. It's also an app in the Play Store. This lets you save battery life by hibernating certain applications. If you use this in conjunction with Wake Lock Detector it's most effective. So for me, Facebook, which I keep talking about, absolutely hammers my battery for some reason. And using this it just lets you save that little bit more. Next up we've got Heads Up Notifications. This lets you have the Android L Toast style notifications pop up, they'll just appear here. Next is Min Mim Guard, this is just an ad blocker, and now obviously people get a little bit up in arms when you talk about ad blockers because of the ethics behind them. I'm not going to get into that, but if you do want an ad blocker, Min Mim Guard is a really nice option. Next one is OK Google for third party activities. This sounds kind of complicated, but all it does is means that you get the OK Google functionality in whichever launcher you're using. OK Google. Next up we've got protected apps. This is one of the easiest ways to add a code to any application on your phone. There's a couple of different things to play around with it. For example, you can edit the delay you want so that if you unlock it, it'll stay unlocked for a certain amount of time. Next up is screen off animation. This is a really simple one that literally just lets you customise your screen off and also your screen on animation. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from. So you've got fade, which is pretty self-explanatory. You've got the classic CRT, which is the horizontal one. You've also got a vertical option. There's a scale down, which is quite cool. A TV burn-in, which is slightly laggier than some of the others, but actually looks quite cool as well. There's the circle one from the LG Optimus G, which is quite nice. My personal favourite is the fades tiles one, which I just think is so quirky, it just looks really cool. And then there's this other option which lets you randomise it. You can set how quick the animation is, so if you want it to last forever, you can have it like that. As you can see it is pretty laggy when you get it onto the wrong timings. I found the sweet spot is around 150 to 200 milliseconds. Next up we've got the smooth system progress bars. This is a weird one that I hadn't seen. I recently watched a video on exposed modules by Android Authority and this is one of the ones they had on there. This literally just lets you customise the system progress bar which is something I'd never really thought about before. It lets you change the amount of sections and it lets you change up the speed and the um, all the different widths. Also it lets you add a couple of different colours to it and the whole thing just feels a little bit smoother than with a stock ROM. So the next one is status bar scroll to top. This is another really simple one. All this does is when you're in a list, if you tap on your status bar it brings you to the top. I believe this is from I think maybe a Samsung device or a Samsung ROM but I've definitely seen it somewhere before but it's a really cool little thing to have to be able to navigate lists that little bit quicker. Next up we've got Wanum Kit. This is another one of the really big sort of customising um, modules. So you've got options to customise your status bar, so you can expand all your notifications, mess around with the clock, with the battery icon, you can decide which battery icon you want, so for example I've got the circle one, also lets you add stuff 
to the power menu again. It's pretty similar to the other one I showed you, but it's good to have different ones. You've got a little bit of variety, and each of them are slightly different with what you can do to your phone. Next is exposed gel settings, and this is if you use the stock Google Now launcher. This is actually mess around with it. So if you open the side tray here, you can see you've got a bunch of different options. So you can go into general and you can change the um, design of the launcher. So if you hit L launcher design, it'll make it look much more like Android L. You can mess around with page indicators, um, loads of little different things, certain colors for the glows, things like that. Then you've got some options for the search bar, some more customizable options for the home screen and your app drawer. It also lets you add gestures to your home screen. So basically it just expands what you can actually do if you're using a stock, um, sort of a completely stock setup. And ultimately we've got Exposed Torch. This is a really simple module from the same guys who did the Wadham kit. This lets you turn the LED on the back of your phone on like a torch by just holding the volume up when the screen is powered off. Which is pretty cool. And then another hold. We'll turn it off again. Finally we've got Zhui Mod which is kind of similar to the Wadham and the other app. This is just a bunch of other customizations, so you've got clock stuff, battery bar, notifications, which are things you can do in the other apps, but again, each one is ever so slightly different with its own themes and things like that. There's a couple of cool things you can play around with as regards a couple of animations, and there's some nice lock screen mods and things like that. It's got a couple of little cool things, for example, if you want, you can use the classic recents rather than the new recents panel. So it's just another one of those applications that gives you a little bit more customizable options on your Android device. I hope you enjoyed that guys, if there's any other exposed modules that you think are good, drop them in the comments below for other people to find. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe if you haven't seen them before. You can follow me on all my social media things in the links in the description, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.